Hey guys, this is Red. I just got done watching TGS. Um, basically, it was amazing. It was they had like 20 times as many games as what they had at E3 and Gamescom. Mainly for the Vita, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. The new PS3 does not look as bad as what I thought it would look. I thought it was gonna look worse. But what, what some good news is there's like. Oh my gosh, let me see how many different models there is. Okay, for North America, there's only two different models. But, but, here's the, here's the good news. The one is 250 gigabytes for $269. But, what you're getting in that is you're getting an Uncharted 3 and you're getting Dust 514, some sort of bundle which it comes out September 25th. That, that's a good deal because you're getting one of the best games of this gen and I don't know what the maybe they're having like the Dust 514 is supposed to be free so maybe they're having extra downloadable stuff for that. I couldn't understand it. They're all in Japanese so how am I supposed to know? And then there's a 500 gigabyte one for $299 which that will come out on October 30th. Which that's not, that's not bad either. Now for Europe and PAL, I don't, I don't know what that is. Australia, I guess. It'll be, there'll be a flash memory of 12 gigabytes, and it'll be 229 euros. In Australian, it's 299.95, and New Zealand, I'm guessing. I have no clue what NZD is. But that is three hundred ninety nine ninety five, oh whatever the heck that is. And then in there'll be a five hundred gigabyte, and that'll be two hundred ninety nine euros and four hundred about four hundred Australian dollars. And New Zealand, oh New Zealand dollars, that's what it is, five hundred nineteen dollars, which that still sounds like a lot. But I'm sure the conversion over to American dollars is a lot less, maybe. And then in Japan, it'll be twenty four. It'll be a 250 gigabyte and a 500 gigabyte, and basically they'll translate into 250 dollars and 298 dollars for the one. That's not bad, but you're getting oh, okay. Here's what you get with the Uncharted 3 one. It, it says Uncharted 3 and a voucher for more than 30 dollars worth of bonus content in Dust 514. That's really good. That's a really good deal. And the next thing they started talking about PlayStation Plus getting coming to the Vita, but it, it's going to start in November. Then after that, they went to talking about something about Gaikai, but basically they didn't really reveal anything. Just that they're working on many different projects with cloud-based stuff. So that's awesome for us, for the PlayStation users. Then. They started talking about PlayStation Mobile and something about it coming out in October. Not really sure. I guess basically you get PlayStation games on your phones, on your i. I don't know if iPhone will have it, but on your phones and tablets, you'll be able to get PlayStation games. Then they started talking about all these Vita games. All these. I don't know if they talked about too many PS3 games. They talked a lot about the Vita, is what I'm. I remember what I remember from watching it is there is a heck of a lot of Vita and they had these cool new um, they have a I don't know if they have a price drop on the PSP but I see they had many different colors I think they had the white they had a blue one and a red one and they had two new models for the Vita which they already got black and white over there they had, oh no, actually three, because the one's a bundle, There is called Project Diva F, and then they have, they have a red one and a blue Vita, only in Japan probably, because we don't get, ever get anything cool. And probably the biggest news for us, Soul Sacrifice is a really good looking game. They showed a preview, they showed you what you're going to be getting eventually. But they delayed it into 2013 and it has no release date yet. I'm trying to find 
all the games that they announced. They announced a lot, but they did not announce my Final Fantasy Versus 13. I want it so bad. Why can't you announce? In the video they showed for the PS3, they showed Final Fantasy 14, but they didn't show any like anything for it. I really wish Square Enix. Look at this. You're letting all your competitors eat up your Vita market, which I guess they're not caring about. They don't care. Dude, if Final Fantasy X HD doesn't look that good, like, is this like a minor upgrade? That's pretty sad that it took them, they announced that like a year or two ago, and they still haven't said anything about Final Fantasy X HD. That was two years ago, it would be in the 10th anniversary, or is it last year? Not quite sure yet. And they announced some of the ones I can't remember. Van Halla Knights, Valhalla Knights 3, which IGN gave the first two very low reviews. They were talking about a lot of cross-platform, but not with the PS2. No, 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 no. PS2s, they basically cut PS2 off. But they're still gonna make they're gonna make games for the Vita and the PSP simultaneously, and apparently you can play together maybe online. I don't know, but you can play together on them. You can play together on the Vita and the PS3. Um, God Eater 2 got announced, which that looked pretty cool. It's a lot of good games coming out for the Vita, and. There were a lot of RPGs. The one game looked like Dynasty Warriors, but I could not tell what the heck it was in Japanese. It looked like it, it was the same guys that made Dynasty Warriors, but the game, I don't think, was Dynasty Warriors because it looked a little different than what I'm used to seeing from them. Namco, they announced some games, a lot of RPG games. A lot of them, I could not understand what it said, or I couldn't read it. Basically, Square Enix, I don't know what's wrong with you guys, um, why don't you guys come back to gaming? I did see, they said Final Fantasy 3 is coming to the PSP, ooh, that's such a big deal, Final Fantasy 3, it's already on the tablets, so how's that a big deal? <laughs> Gosh, you guys are half retarded or something, um, yeah. That's pretty much all that happened. Basically, a lot of RPG games got announced for the Vita and the PSP, basically simultaneously. And they they did a minor what do you call that stupid book? Oh, Wonder Book. They did one of them. They did some stuff with that. There wasn't much else they did. And they're like the whole thing. I don't know. I wasn't that happy because most of these games are not going to be coming from coming over to America so kinda sucks we don't get all the games that they usually get so Thanks, sir. sucks to be American um if you got any other questions you got any questions for me about TGS 2012 ask me but all I can say is Final Fantasy is absent no Final Fantasy versus 13 no Final Fantasy 14 no new Final Fantasy which they usually announce ahead and then do other stuff they had a price drop, pretty much the best news was the price drops and the new models and the Vita games that they had like over 30 games at least, new Vita games. So, subscribe, see you guys.